A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some who had come down from Judea were instructing the brothers, Unless you circumcised according to the Mosaic practice, you cannot be saved. Because there arose no little dissension and debate by Paul and Barnabas with them, it was decided that Paul, Barnabas, and some of the others should go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and the presbyters about this question. They were sent on their journey by the church and passed through Phoenicia and Samaria, telling of the conversion of the Gentiles, and brought great joy to all the brethren. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church, as well as by the apostles and the presbyters. And they reported that God had done what God had done with them. But some from the party of the Pharisees, who had become believers, stood up and said, It is necessary to circumcise them and direct them to observe the Mosaic law. The apostles and the presbyters met together to see about this matter. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoiced because they said to me, We will go up to the house of the Lord, and now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem, built as a city with compact unity. To it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord, in it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let Let us go go rejoicing to the house house of of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Remain in me as I remain in you, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me will bear much fruit. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit. And every one that does, he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and withered. People will gather them and throw them into a fire, and they will be burned. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you. Ask for whatever you want, and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ.
Dear brothers and sisters, since this health crisis started, since we are staying home, many things are happening in our lives. Many questions are coming out. We are thinking about our own life, how it was before that, how it is now, and how it will be tomorrow. This is an opportunity also for all of us to learn in our lives. Here in our territory, Father Joe and I, and also Deacon Joe and Brian, we are learning a lot about streaming masses. <laughs> <laughs> we started only with Facebook and then we moved forward. We stopped with Facebook, we went to YouTube and then after YouTube we came back now for both. So we are making big progress to learn about those technology. But as you know sometimes technology cannot work. It's good when it's working. I don't know, I think that you noticed the last month, last Sunday, we didn't succeed. <laughs> the sound was not good for you to pray with us together. So what happened? Unfortunately, the cable of sound was plunged in a wrong place. That is why we do not have a good sound. Dear brothers and sisters, that is exactly what Jesus is saying in the gospel today. Jesus saying that he is divine and is by his father, divine goer. We need to be connected to him. If we are connected to him, we can have good fruits in our life, dear brothers and sisters. If I'm sure that if Jesus was living in our world today, instead of talking about the vine, he, was talk, he, was, he could talk about that connection through internet. Jesus will present himself as a universal spiritual Wi-Fi. That Wi-Fi is available everywhere. We just need to be connected. And dear brothers and sisters, the password for me to be connected is the Holy Spirit. That's why Jesus is saying that I will send you the Holy Spirit. The one who will help us to stay connected to Him, to Jesus, and Jesus will connect us to God our Father, so that we can produce fruit in our life. If we are not connected, we will not produce fruit. Or if we are connected in a wrong place, like what's happening last Sunday, we will not produce good sound for people to enjoy in their life. So dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharist, we are going to pray May the Holy Spirit who dwell in us, may the one who is coming help us every time to stay connected to Jesus who is always there available for us to help us. He is always there to strengthen our faith so that we can stay connected to him and connected to God, our Father. And today as we are celebrating our Mother Mary, our Lady of Fatima. Mary is the example of a lady who stayed connected to God. His life, her life. By bearing the Son of God in his womb, her womb. And then after that, Mary stayed connected to Jesus. He's the one who introduced him in his ministry. And more than that, Mary was present at the cross. 
how he stayed connected. And she was present among the disciples to receive the Holy Spirit, the first church, the beginning of the church. Mary was there to show us an example to stay connected to God, our Father. So Mary, our mother Mary, intercede for us today so that following her example, we can stay connected to Jesus, our universal spiritual Wi-Fi. Dear brothers and sisters, let's now present our petition to God, our Father, for ourselves and for the entire world. <clears throat> to the whole church, that God's wisdom may strike root among us in the person of Jesus, making us a glorious people, the portion of the Lord, and the company of his holy ones. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. That God, who sends forth his command to the earth, may enable world leaders to keep his word, so that he may grant peace in our borders. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the word, who is made flesh, may give all those who believe in his name power to become children of God, shedding his light in the world by their lives of faith and good work. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are abandoned and forgotten in their need and suffering, that our prayer and our love may encircle them with joy and new beginnings of life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faithful departed ones, that God may bless them in Christ with every spiritual blessing in his heavenly home, giving them eternal rest and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, our Father, hear the petition we present to you today in the name of Jesus, our risen Lord, and may his mother, our Lady of Fatima, intercede for the world today as we pray. Amen. Hail Mary, full, full of grace, grace. the full Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hand. It will become for us the bread of life. We must be God Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the one we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, brothers and sisters, may my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise, praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all this holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, the soothing intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son. No petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lay them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. He is right and it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Let us in the veneration of the blessed ever virgin Mary, for by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she goes with the Holy Begot and Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, goes forth into the world's eternal life. Jesus Christ, our Lord, to Him the angels praise Your Majesty, dominion, authority, and power struggle before You. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim. Worship together we praise our treasure. May our voices we pray join with the in heaven's praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy. saying, 
take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and and drink drink this cup, cup, we proclaim, proclaim you, therefore, Lord, Lord until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Martha and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Sean, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant Michael, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, And to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages, and praise you without end, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Uh
is the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracious, live in peace in our days. Thus, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant the peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with with your spirit. spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the risen Lord who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Blessed is the womb of the Virgin Mary, which bore the Son of the Eternal Father. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. 
I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at me spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. And I will read you and I will read you and I will read Thank you. 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 Thank you.